family, welcome to the Doris DJ Sikahima channel. My name is Sikahima. I reach your homes around the world with another episode from Edmonton, Canada to your homes around the world. Today I have a very interesting topic and the topic is going to be about a woman just like me right here. And we're going to talk about the non-social value of a woman the non-negotiable value of a woman. If you're new on this channel, kindly subscribe, like, share, and comment, and stay here and join us, grow together, because this is a channel where I create awareness, I educate, and I bring you the right information to make right informed decisions. And on this channel, I talk about parenting, finance, motivation, inspiration, and many more. So if you stay here, there's something for you. And on my page, you can find multiple videos that has been produced for you. So please subscribe, like, share, and comment. And put your comments in this comment section and it will be addressed. Thank you so much for joining me. So that I want to talk about the non-negotiable value of a woman. And I have since written down, what is it? A woman, you know who is a woman? A woman is the female version of a human being so let's talk about the value of a woman a valuable woman can do many things except for her to do anything that does not add value to herself or humanity a valuable woman does not go around looking for things and people to validate her she has the existence and she is able to understand herself and her worth and she's able to bring herself together and validate herself and give herself that moral support and the motivation and the encouragement for her to continue to do more. She adds up her voice. She speaks wisdom when she opens her mouth. I don't want to preach, but when we go to the Bible, a valuable woman, we can find her in Proverbs 31, 10 down. She worth more than pearls. She worth more than jewelry. She worth more than rubies. Let's get into the Bible a little bit. The Bible says that he who finds a wife, finding a good thing and obtained favor before God. So if you really find a wife, not a troubled woman, not a naga, but a woman that is a partner to you. And what do partners do even in businesses? Partners come together to create something bigger. Partners come together to let a dream come to pass. They come together to undertake a project and they make sure that the project uh, gets established and the project runs. That is the value of a woman. A woman comes into a partnership with a man because when God created Adam and Eve, he said, be fruitful, multiply, subdue, and take, uh, subdue, say must take dominion. And so how would one person be fruitful when it comes to procreation? That means a man has a seed, but then she needs the woman, the man with the womb, that is the woman, to carry that seed to bring it to life. So a woman is a partner. A partner, if you see your woman as a partner, then you can move mountains. You can bring a whole lot into being because two is better than one. And it is always good to have somebody that understands you, that will be able to support you, bring the vision that a man carries out. So the vision that a man carries must be supported by a reliable partner and a valuable partner and a partner that also sees the vision and shares the same dream. And most of the times it's the woman that is in your life. They call wife or I don't know, girlfriend, whatever it is, but a woman that you have that spiritual connection, that bond, sexual intimacy, a woman that is yours will bring this dream to fulfillment. And she is your partner. So you can take dominion. You can multiply in every area of your life. You can do more because that woman is also there to nurture the vision, nurture the dream. And make sure to water it and bring it to life. And make sure it is sustained and maintained and managed well. Number two, a woman that comes into your life is a producer. Women, we are producers. We produce. 
apart from the fact that we are able to carry human beings in us, we make, we make our own people. Somebody said we make our own people, we make our own human beings and we carry them. We produce. Because you give a woman a seed of sperm and they will produce a whole human being for you. Let's drop that humanity aspect. And when we come to uh, producing, that woman, when you give her, like some people need capital to establish a business, they produce. Some women are into ministry or they are able to produce things out. We produce from our intelligence from our skills we have like let's come down home let's go home back in africa where people hawk uh, you see not many men hawking but we see a lot of women hawking they will be hawking from water to fish smoke fish anything that a woman lay hands on they are able to turn it into something and bring money out of it. That's the kind of woman I'm talking about. A woman is a producer. You give a woman a seed, she will multiply it and give you a whole plantation of it. So if you nurture your woman well, with your words, with respect, with acceptance, with love, then that woman will make sure that you multiply. Let's calm down. When you see a young man and a young woman, they marry. You see that they bring the two forces together and uh, the Bible says that the two shall be one and the two comes together and they form something stronger, a bond. And whatever they are doing, they develop it to their full capacity. You see, if it's business, it will start booming. They keep getting better. So whatever it is, a woman is a producer. She is somebody that propels, that she catapults the vision of a man. She cut apart the vision of her children. She makes sure the children she produce, she, she give birth to, they become children that are responsible. And that is production as well. What are the societal values? We have to put that in them so that they will become productive when they grow up. The other point I want to talk about is a woman is an intercessor. Every woman is an intercessor. She intercedes for the husband or whatever relationship she's in. She's an intercessor for the children. Spiritually, she prays for them. No matter the religion you are in, some people don't believe in God, but then they believe in something and they bring their children through meditation, through science and whatever to that supreme being. So a woman is an intercessor. A woman that prays is a powerful woman and she prays for the spiritual needs of the family. She brings them before God and then they are able to grow spiritually. A woman intercedes for her children. A woman is an intercessor in so many areas. She intercedes for the husband. She tries to make sure that we find balance in the house. That's the word balance is the ultimate, you have to make sure that there's a balance. So intercessing and bringing balance and equilibrium into our lives. The other aspect I want to talk about is the woman is a caretaker. That is, the woman is the manager. I, Steve Harvey was saying something that the productivity or the harvest or when men are paid or women are paid, we should give 85% to the women. I'll bring it out, take it out, love 85%. Yeah, I know every woman out there will love that 85% whilst the man keeps 15%. A plan ahead to be proactive and focus in the future, not just now, but plan, have savings, have the basic resources and manage your husband or your man. Some men just get up as if they just, the bus ran over them or they, they just woke up from the other side of the bed and you see them at work. Yes, a man must be put together by the woman in their life. They are dressing, dressing code and everything must be on point. They fix them. I have witnessed that. So a woman is a manager of the, of the husband or boyfriend and is the manager of the home, the manager of the children 
the manager of the future of the family. But if you listen to a woman that you are connected to, a woman that you are married to, joined together, and she's a good woman, and she wants good intentions for you, the sky will be your starting point. A woman, man, you know what? A woman is the reflection of you. If you are a man and they see your woman, it tells how you nurture in her. It tells her physical well-being, her spiritual state, her emotional being, how balanced the woman is. So if you are a man, your woman is your reflection. Your woman is your glory. Your woman tells who you are. People will see your wife or they, they determine who you are by the appearance of your wife. If your wife or your girlfriend or the woman in your life is wretched, you know definitely, oh, that man hasn't got anything going. If they see the woman and she's tearful, sad, and she's broken, they know that there's some kind of abuse going on in the woman's life. It should be more than once, but every time they see your woman, she's, she's calm, she's isolated, she is not able to socialize, she is down, then people will start to think that something is going wrong in this woman's life. And that is the reflection of the man because the man is the leader of the family and it is he is the head of the woman and the woman is his reflection whatever you put in the woman being it through intimacy through um emotions through spirituality food whatever you feed in her will be a reflection of the person you see so if you want to have a peaceful wife and you want people to speak well of you, take care of your woman. That woman right beside you. That woman that sleep next to you. That woman standing by you. That woman behind you. For every successful man, there is a woman. At the same time, for every successful woman, there is a man. So it's a symbiosis. It is not a parasitic relationship. So if your woman is suffering, it means you become a parasite that is sucking her. Your woman is a rest to you. Every man find rest in her woman. So your woman must be peace. If they're chasing you outside and you get home, that woman in your life must be able to comfort you and console you. That woman must be your peace. You have to be able to be vulnerable to her without apology without regret, without being afraid and feeling free that this is my woman. Right, guys? So women, let your husband put his head on your lap and have a deeper conversation with him and never use it against him or never use it as his weakness. Create a safe environment for him. Respect him in front of people. Respect him in front of your children. Make him a proud man. Because every man wants to be a king, even though he's behaving like a fool. So make sure that you respect him and you become the safe haven for him to come home to. And he will be happy to come home. I know a lot of men, when it's time for them to go home, then they don't want to. They end up in clubs, drinking and all that because they don't have that safe heaven. They don't see their woman as a safe place for rest. A woman must be a restful place because when she, the man comes home, he must be able to talk to you, must be able to have a relationship with you, must be able to eat and have peace without apologies. He mustn't be apologetic to anybody because you are his woman and he expects you to be the rest for him you know women are multi-taxes sitting here doing this video at the same time i'm cooking at the same time i'm keeping an eye on my son she was doing his work right there i was keeping an eye on him as i was doing this video because just my presence will let him do the assignment 
and I am cooking on there. At the same time, my daughter was sitting over there doing her work too. So I'm keeping an eye on all of them. And I am doing laundries up there. My laundries is in the washing machine. I'm doing it. I have uh, dishes put in the dishwasher here too. It's running. So a woman is a multi-taxer. We are multi-taxers. That is how we are built and wired. So don't compare yourself to a man. But this is a quality of a woman that a man doesn't have. Every woman, most women, like 99.9% .9 of women are multi -taxes. We are able to do many things at the same time. Yes, that is how we are wired. So if you give your woman more or you give her the opportunity and expose it, she will shine. She will bring the best out of your family. And don't forget that that woman will bring the glory to you because you are the head of the family. So don't feel intimidated to expose your women because women can do more. A woman is an encourager. We encourage it. The Bible even says that he who can encourage should encourage. So a woman is an encourager. She will encourage you, bring you up, bring your spirit up when you are down. Somebody that can advocate we advocate for our families. We stand in, I said it like an intercessor. We advocate for our family members. Most women, it is our DNA to care for our family members, right from nurturing from the breast, carrying them in the womb, human beings and nurturing them, nurturing our husband, making sure the home is safe, boyfriends, whatever. We care. We, that is why it is better for you to Make sure your woman is capable. You enable her to be able to function in her care abilities. She is an empathetic person. Every woman is an empathetic person. Most of us, we put ourselves in our shoes and we are able to feel the way you feel. And we are able to be sympathetic at the same time to express our Comfort. We are able to comfort, encourage, and bring strength out of you. A woman has something in them. It's called intuition. Most men don't listen and they have to hit the wall before they come back. But if they had told their woman about their plans they want to execute, they would have hinted them, Jack, to what's it? Slow down because that's the thing you want to do. I have something in me that tells me that. That thing is not right. That's your friend is not right. That job, there's something about it that is called intuition, spiritual antennas that is built in us. And you know, there's something that will say a woman has an instinct. Sometimes you are able to feel, have some instinct, but then you feel that something is wrong but you don't know what exactly to point your finger to, but you have a particular feeling about a particular person or a particular situation, a particular job, or something to be specific. But that instinct is in women. And when we use that to manage and control our surroundings, it is very helpful. And especially if the woman is spiritual coming together with this, receptors and antennas in women men don't have it so if we tell you men listen to us because it is an inbuilt something that bring the vision it stop those who want to stop you and it brings you out of problem so that you are not tempted more than you can take every woman is a teacher I told you my son was doing his work here. I was teaching him. The, te the woman is the first teacher of a child. The woman is a nurse. She's the nurse, automatic nurse, right from the day that she brings a human being into the world. Yeah, we had this conversation that I would use my friend. She was getting sick. You know, this COVID-19 thing that came that my friend was there and they went to a place and people were social distancing and he was going to get closer to the group of people. And the husband said, no, you move away and be there 
I will be closer to these people. When you get sick, I cannot nurse you and nurture you. But when I get sick, you know how to take care of me. So every woman is a nurse of the family. The mother is the nurse of the family. The woman is the nurse of the society she finds herself in. in nursing her children. The first nurse of her children. The woman is an accountant. She goes to the market or shopping or groceries and she calculates. She is able to budget what will be needed for the month. She is able to arrange and manage her children and everything, including the husband, if you give her the opportunity. So a woman is a very powerful being. But that is how it is. For most women, it takes a lot for you to understand that. Because a woman, a woman is a special being. So if you have a woman in your life, treat her with dignity. Treat her with respect. Treat her with kindness, treat her with love, treat her with understanding, and treat her as a weaker vessel. We are strong, at the same time we are weak. So please, this is Doris DG Sikahi, my channel. Please kindly subscribe, like it, share, and comment. Your comments and your subscription means a lot to me. So anybody that has subscribed, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please share my video on your social media pages and invite your friends to join us on this channel because this is where motivation flows like river. I love you, but remember God loves you best. Keep it real here.